Monero is a cryptocurrency with one goal, absolute privacy. It is a community-made currency that had no ICO or pre-mine and was distributed by proof-of-work mining. Instead of a max supply, Monero has a tail emission. After the initial 18.5 million coins are mined, there will be around 150,000 new coins minted per year to keep miners incentivized. This amounts to a little less than 1% inflation per year. It has privacy by default. You cannot turn off this feature. It's hard-coded into the protocol. There are no masternodes, staking, or block award splits, only proof-of-work mining similar to Bitcoin, something that is important in a currency. Unlike most privacy coins, Monero does not work by coin mixing. It uses time-tested cryptographic features such as ring signatures and stealth addresses. Stealth addresses are single-use addresses that are created every time a transaction is made. The sender generates a one-time stealth address from the receiver's public keys, and the receiver generates a one-time private key to use from their original. This hides your transactions, as the funds don't touch your wallet. Ring signatures add anonymity by using decoy transactions. A transaction is placed with a group of several old ones pulled from the blockchain. To an outside observer, every one of these transactions are just as likely to be the real one. These anonymity features are why Monero is used as the primary currency on the darknet markets. People whose lives depend on privacy choose Monero. The downsides you may need to know are, due to its privacy features, wallets are more complex than others. There is not a large selection of wallets. No wallets for mobile users or hardware wallets are supported at this time. Because of its private nature, the distribution of the coins is unknown. Currently, the fees are higher than average, around $3 per transaction. It had some problems with anonymity in its early days, but this has now been fixed. The Cripple Miner The Cripple Miner scandal is a story that still haunts Monero to this day. To understand what happened, we're going to have to look at Monero's history. Monero was born out of the Bitcoin community. Bitcoin appeared on the Bitcoin talk forums with a suspicious backstory. 80% of the coins were already mined. Bitcoin's creator claimed that it had been mined in underground deep web communities for years, and finally decided to come out to the public. Many on the forum accused Bitcoin of being a fraud, and that the unverifiable story about the deep web was a lie to cover up a massive pre-mine. Bitcoin was a fairly advanced cryptocurrency at the time, so part of the community decided to clone the coin and start a new genesis block to guarantee that there was no pre-mine. This community called their new coin BitMonero. An individual whose username was thankful for today led the project. He wasn't viewed as a skilled leader. He ignored the community repeatedly, dropped in and out of the project for long amounts of time, and rushed the release before technical issues were properly fixed. A small group in the community started to take things in their own hands and take charge of the project, creating a loose development team. Thankful for today slowly became less involved with the project and eventually left to create another fork of Bitcoin that he could easier control. After the coin launched, the community noticed that the mining stats did not add up. The known pools and miners were contributing an alarmingly small amount of the total hash power. At closer inspection of the mining software, it was not optimized properly. Even worse, it appeared to be purposely crippled. When properly optimized, the miner had a 100 times advantage over the publicly available version. Some technically inclined users in the community had realized this, optimized their own miners to control most of the hash rate, and kept quiet about it. These clever individuals managed to make a large amount of money very fast. This lasted for about a month, as the core team continued to release improved versions of the miner until it was fully optimized. The crippled miner was cloned from Bitcoin. It's believed that the purpose of the original Bitcoin miner being crippled was part of the process to create Bitcoin's blockchain. A blockchain that appeared to be years old, but was only a few months in reality. The community's original fears of Bitcoin being a pre-mine were correct. So the question is, did the developers know about the miner? There are a few possibilities I see. One is that the development team knew about it and used their advantage to mine a large amount of coins very easily. I don't buy into this theory, mainly because the team was not there at the time that BitMonero was created and probably didn't realize it when they took control. The team was extremely mindful about keeping the coin fairly distributed in fear of creating another useless token. 
If they knew, it would have been smarter to throttle the excessive hash power and keep a long-term advantage under the radar. Second theory. Thankful for today knew about the miner. This is very likely in my opinion, not only because he started the Bitmonero fork, but also created other forks of Bitcoin around the same time. He could have started the project and dropped out once it was stable to create other coins with the same flaw. When Monero was ready to mine, he could have used his mining advantage to make a large amount of profit with very little effort. 3. Bitcoin's creator knew the whole time. This is my favorite theory, but the least likely. Bitcoin was professionally created. It had great original technology and was inventive. Why would someone create a great coin with a poorly and obviously constructed backstory? Perhaps the creator knew that people would see the new tech and clone it, allowing him to have a mining advantage over all the new forks of his creation, until the developers found this exploit. And four. No one knew, and it was a complete accident. This option is just not any fun, but it's a possibility, and probably what happened. Whatever happened, I don't believe this is an issue for Monero today. The problem was patched quickly. It's doubtful that the miners held on to their tokens. Monero has no staking system, master nodes, or any other incentive system to hold the coins. BitMonero was fairly hyped, and the coins had a decent value at the time. Rather than risking the price drop once it was discovered, I think it's more likely that they sold the coins immediately for Bitcoin. The Monero community is extremely transparent with their history, and I suggest anyone who's interested to read it for themselves. The team was adamant at creating something useful, and at every step of the way did whatever they could to create the fairest distribution. Monero is a solid coin with great tech that has a purpose. It's been around for a long time and is one of the few coins today that is actually used in commerce. It's one I recommend holding for the long term. But this, of course, is an investment advice. I'm just some guy on the internet. Bitthink.